Hi everyone, welcome to Silver Value. So today we're going to look at five stocks that you can buy in March, particularly with the recent sale down. It's just creating an opportunity where you can buy things at actually really reasonable values. And I think these five companies are definitely worth you considering. Um, and also, yeah, like if you appreciate what I do, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. It's always really appreciated. All right, now let's jump into those companies. All right, so the first one is a three-way SPAC merger, and this is including Beachbody, Forest Road Acquisition Corp, and Mix Fitness, and together they're going to really combine to create a really, really um, amazing company that is going to offer a lot of value. Um, and But firstly, let's look at the share price, eh? So if we look at the share price, and we go back then when the SPAC was announced that this merger was happening, it came to like $12.00. Um, then it got really, um, you know, highlighted by, say, like, guys like Jim Cramer, and then the stock just started flying to $15, then, um, eventually getting to around that $17 mark, um, and recently it's been sold down because a lot of people made a lot of profit in a very short amount of time, and this kind of offers you the same chance to buy back in at $12, um, which is amazing because, um, originally when something rises that much, sometimes it doesn't come down to these levels again, but it's amazing to see these price, this pricing again, and I think it offers you another chance to take another bite of this company, particularly if you missed out the first time, um, or if it's the first time hearing about this company, then definitely worth considering as well. Why is that the case? Well, firstly, you've got a guy like Kevin Myers that's coming um, on as a strategic advisor, he's behind. He's one of the guys that were, that was behind the launch of Disney Plus. Um, he was CEO of uh, TikTok, and he, now he's going to work his magic around this company, which is going to generate some significantly higher revenues going forward. So this year they're looking at about over 1.1 billion dollars in revenue, and that proceeds to 1.4, then 1.9, then 2.6, then 3.2. So you can kind of see that nice projection, particularly for a relatively stable company. Um, and they're also going into an industry that kind of could have a lot of uh, potential, particularly around uh, engaging people at fitness at home, um, shipping kind of protein shakes and products to people's homes. It's kind of engaging the whole... Um, new trend of it being able to do everything at home have like your whole fitness your whole uh, routine and all your supplements and all that just all in one um, and I think uh, you've got the right strategic advisor to kind of put it all together give everyone a nice direction to head into and I think this company is going to do amazing um, and I'm just going to leave you with this trailer um, just to kind of really summarize it but of course, um, if you want to find out more information, I've left a link of um, a full review I did about this company not too long ago. So just check the description below if you want a uh, kind of like a big breakdown in those financials. Um, yeah, and I'll leave you with this trailer. Alright, so the second opportunity is a company called Arch Aviation, 
and it is specializing in VTOLs, some very revolutionary uh, aircraft that they hope that one day, once they start getting these in production in a few years time, is going to really change the whole ride sharing environment. Um, and I guess that's enough to convince Ark Invest to invest in this company. Uh, right now they have 1.38 million shares and they've been increasing over time as you can see by this purple line in this chart. Uh, so I think if a company like Ark Invest has a lot of confidence in them, um, it really shows quite a bit of uh, due diligence and depth and quality in this company. Um, and also United Airlines is also part of it. So it's, it's a nice combination of confidence um, in what they do. And also I guess that future potential is enough to really sell a lot of people as well. So originally when this company um, announced the merger, it went up to around $14. Uh, then out comes Ark Invest saying they're buying these shares um, and then it goes to about $17 so now you can actually get them at $11.90 which is really really cheap you're getting it cheaper than when the merger was announced um, so yeah I think it's a great great opportunity to be buying into stocks that firstly um, Ark Invest uh, loves and I can probably it's the likely case is like Ark Invest is likely to continue to increase their shareholding and the company itself as they continue to develop um, will increase in value and currently 11.90 is just some very very good bargain pricing all right so I'll stop at there if you want to look at any more information remember I've just put the links below in the description box if you want a breakdown of this company for the third company, this one needs no introduction, you know it so well, I know it so well, and this is Tesla, you know that this company does not stop in terms of uh, their ambitions, and are consistently improving, um, and are expanding their production facilities. Um, as it's put here, um, Tesla aims to make 450,000 vehicles annually from their Shanghai factory beginning 2021 and that itself is going to really propel this company not to mention the factories that is built, being built in Berlin and also Texas and also they've got their R&D team does trying to design a vehicle that is worth 25,000 US dollars on a sales price and hopefully they are aiming for a 2023 date which is not that far away and it will really um, start to open the market for everyone to purchase EVs and really open the market for Tesla as well. And once they get this done, um, it really propels the company to even more, you know, further heights in terms of the value of this company. So hence why the company might be dipping in share price, but the potential is not dipping at all. Um, and this is why when the market is selling down, it's giving you an opportunity to buy a company, a uh, very, very high quality company at a really decent price. Um, so yeah, I think uh, it's a great time to look at uh, this type of stock. Uh, the share price could continue to fall, but if it doesn't fall anymore, I think you're at a, a pretty decent price, particularly if you're in this company for the long term. Um, it offers such a good potential. They've proven so much. They're in this uh, really nice profitable stage that it's definitely one company worth considering. But for the fourth company, we're looking at a company called Lordstown Motors, another EV company, and their share price has been smashed. Like this company was trading about oh, around $30. And then basically with the recent events, uh, there's been massive sell down. So firstly, one of their large shareholders, which was uh, Workhorse, didn't get the USPS contract, which that uh, Lordstown was going to be one of the contractors producing those vehicles. Um, and I think a lot of people took that as a negative thing for Lordstown, but I don't think it really impacts Lordstown. If they didn't get that um, contract to manufacture those for Workhorse, um, and in a sense, it still doesn't matter because this company has a hundred thousand pre-orders. So th that itself means this company can't even produce enough for the next few years to actually meet demand. So it it really doesn't matter if Workhorse is asking for any orders or no orders because they've got so many orders themselves that yeah, like I think the company is worth its value. And currently it's being sold down to $19.34, which is a great, great opportunity, especially when you think about the GM factory that they brought. 
um, as part of a deal where GM would take a cornerstone shareholding in this company. Um, and yeah, that factory itself is worth about $3 billion. And the fact that the market cap itself is worth $3 billion is insane value just right here. Um, but of course, I, the market doesn't seem to be paying that much attention to it. Um, but I think at least by September when the vehicle comes into production, uh, there's going to be a massive spotlight on this company. And potentially it's a really nice um, situation where you could get in at a really good pricing right now. And if you're willing to hold until that end of the year mark when they start producing the vehicles, I think this share price is going to do very well. And also they've got um, a recent yeah, like a race coming up which will really prove what this uh, company is all about, especially their vehicle. Uh, if you're willing to race your vehicle um, in a race and especially trying to prove out that it's better than all the other vehicles on the, on the track, um, that's amazing stuff. It's particularly to just like show that their vehicle works um, and it works in a very really good way so definitely pay attention um, to this like it's a 290 mile single loop race scheduled on April the 17th 2021 uh, the fact that it could go like that long and do this race um, is you know is going to be one of those very very strong points that prove the quality of this company and their vehicle and I think that's also going to give you a lot of confidence about what they're producing um, particularly with a hundred thousand pre-order, I think this company is fine. It is at a very low valuation, definitely worth considering buying into. All right, so I've saved the very best one for the last one, and this is a company called Catapult, and it is a company that I think is so deeply undervalued that I just think the market's either skipped over this one or the market just does not see what I see. So firstly, um, last year they did 250 million in revenue. This year they're looking at about doing 455 million in revenue, which is an amazing growth. And if we look at a company like Affirm, who did about 500 million uh, last year, and it's at a 23 billion dollar valuation. So Catapult is merging with a company called FinServe, and are going to have about a rough valuation of 1.4 billion dollars. And at 1.4 billion dollars, and their revenue is going to match um, what a firm did around last year, and a firm's at 23 billion dollars. So I'll let you do the math. How how is this one worth 23, and this one worth 1.4 right now? So if you look at the mismatch in valuation and also the potential, you can see those really nice revenues. Uh, like last like 2019, they did 92 million dollars. And in, in 2020, they did about 250, and now this year they're looking at 455. Um, so that's some amazing potential, and definitely really worth looking at because I think this is one of the companies that's just been undervalued for quite a long time. Maybe everyone's just waiting for this uh, merger to actually happen. Um, but it's a really, really good opportunity to buy into one of the most high potential companies that I see on the market in terms of the financial fintech situation like there's not many companies in the situation that is selling at this cheap of a pricing um, and especially when you look at consider that they're very similar to a company like a firm like maybe a firm is yeah like they're definitely ahead of the game a bit more but they're at 23 billion dollars whereas uh catapults about 1.4 once they merge with uh finserve um so yeah like a lot of a big big difference in terms of valuation so it's definitely one of the ones worth considering and hence why I believe it to be um, one of the companies that offers one of the highest potential when it comes to um, an increase in share price and also the company itself is um, looking like it's offering some really high potential especially these the growth in the revenues um, is amazing um, and I think it's in the right space, right time, um, and evaluation is just so low that it's, um, yeah, like I think it'd just be crazy not to consider this company um, as a company worth investing in. I think maybe once they merge with their uh, SPAC, uh, a, lot, a bit more attention is paid to this, but having followed the pay now, pay, uh, yeah, buy now, pay later space, uh, yeah, like I've followed so many different companies 
that literally this was one is so undervalued that I just don't believe how it's ha possible. Um, so definitely look into it. And yeah, like I think by the end of the year, the share price should be doing very well for this company. Um, yeah, and then if you want kind of like a more uh, open, dis open like review of this company, again look at the description because uh, most of these companies I have reviewed um, on yeah before. So that's why I know them well, I look at the share price and I think other five companies that I've talked about, they are quite undervalued, particularly with um, a massive sell down recently. So definitely worth considering. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are or if you have any questions. Um, I thank you for paying attention um, and yeah, tuning in um, and it's always appreciated. Until then, uh, good luck investing everyone.